Motion pictures have been around for over 125 years now. It's America's greatest cultural export, but it had humble beginnings. Early films were extremely basic and had little to no structure. You'd have people walking around, some blacksmith smithing, a boxing match between James Corbett and Bob Fitzsimmons. Some consider this the first erotic film. Filmmakers like to push the envelope, though. Like to spice things up. So, where do we go from here? Well, we execute an elephant. That's right. One of the earliest surviving films ever recorded is an elephant being executed. The year was 1903. Circuses were all the rage. Four Paw Circus, a rival to the popular Barnum and Bailey Circus, owned an elephant named Topsy that had a dangerous, violent attitude. Or at least that's what the alcoholic circus promoters said for publicity. If Topsy did have a bad attitude, it was presumably for mistreatment. For example, the time a drunk spectator wandered into her tent and pressed a lit cigar against her face. Now Topsy, who coincidentally was named after a slave from Uncle Tom's cabin, wasn't having that shit. So she grabbed him by the waist, threw him on the ground, and stomped him to death. Way to go, Topsy. This didn't actually lead directly to her execution, though. In fact, they kept performing with her for months afterwards. The ball didn't get rolling until one fateful night, a policeman in attendance caught Topsy's handler jabbing her with a pitchfork. The drunk elephant handler, Bill Alt, was arrested. Bill didn't appreciate being arrested, though, because a month later, he got extremely drunk again. Uh, by the way, I'm starting to see why Prohibition was gaining steam in this era. Anyways, he got really drunk again and rode Topsy through the streets of Coney Island to the police station bashing in their front door to get his revenge. This shit actually happened. That was finally the last straw, and old Bill was fired from Fort Paw Circus. Now they had no elephant handler, and no circuses were willing to buy Topsy due to her bad reputation. The owners of Fort Paw Circus, Frederick Thompson and Elmer Dundee, Elmer Dundee, had finally run out of options, and they decided the only way to get rid of Topsy was by execution. So... How do you execute an elephant? Well, you just whip out the old cartoon elephant gun and shoot it in the head, right? No. They fucking electrocuted her. And they made it a public spectacle, hanging advertisements around the island, inviting the press. And they invited the Edison Film Company to come record the event. Yeah, I mean that Edison. Thomas Edison. He actually had a vested interest in this. Alright, history lesson. So the Edison Electric Company used direct current electricity, one of Edison's patents. His biggest rival, Westinghouse Company, used alternating current electricity, one of Nikola Tesla's patents. Alternating current was cheaper and more powerful. Its rise in popularity eventually cost Edison his company. Despite being out of the electric business, Edison still propagated that alternating current was far too dangerous for home use. And what better opportunity to demonstrate the danger of an alternating current than to film a grown elephant being electrocuted by it? Think about that. As soon as we barely understood enough about electricity to standardize it, we filmed ourselves killing an elephant with it. So anyways, they build this gigantic rig on Coney Island to restrain and electrocute an elephant. How do you find someone who can build something that oddly specific? Easy! They've done it before! No, seriously. In 1901, an elephant named Jumbo was also sentenced to die by electrocution. Fortunately, the execution attempt was botched. This wasn't even the first time someone had this fucking idea. A bunch of handlers led Topsy towards the rig, which was across a small bridge. Topsy, in a final act of defiance, seemingly aware of her fate, refused to budge a single step further. She forced the crew to painstakingly move the entire rig across the bridge, piece by piece, and reassemble it where she stood. But alas, they hooked her up, they flipped a switch, they electrocuted the elephant. That was after they fed her carrots laced with cyanide. And before they used a winch around her neck to strangle her for ten minutes after they electrocuted her. It's the feel-good video of the year. So, they filmed this gruesome stunt. And then they released the film on coin-operated kinetoscopes 13 days later. Here's an excerpt from the film's description in the Edison catalogs. Topsy the famous baby elephant was electrocuted at Coney Island on January 4th, 1903. We secured an excellent picture of the execution. Uh, side note, Topsy was fully grown. I'm not sure why they added the word baby. Uh, it's possible the film didn't meet their very high standards for extreme cruelty. So anyways, that's the sad story of Topsy the Elephant.
There is a silver lining here, though. Because that's the last time in American history that an elephant was ever executed through cruel and unusual punishment. Nope, they did it again. Holy shit. In 1916, the Sparks' world-famous circus show hired a homeless transient named Red Eldridge for their elephant keeper. And everyone lived happily ever- no. This homeless guy was hired to lead their elephant parade and ride their star elephant Mary at the front. Shockingly, on his second day of work, something went terribly wrong. Accounts of the event vary greatly, but one eyewitness claims that the inexperienced rider was prodding her ears with hooks while she tried to eat. Mary became instantly enraged and hurled the rider through a nearby drink stand. Then she proceeded over to him and stomped him to death. Seems to be the elephant's favorite attack against assholes. In the ensuing chaos, a local blacksmith shot the enraged elephant five times with little to no effect. The furious crowd threatened circus owner Charlie Sparks, and word spread fast to nearby towns of the incident. They told Sparks they would never allow his show back if he still had the killer elephant. Sparks then made the reluctant decision to kill his prized elephant, Mary. By hanging her? What the fuck? It's incomprehensible that twice in the early 20th century, we sentenced elephants to die by decidedly human executions. These animals were clearly innocent. This reminds me of the story of Joe Arity. Joe Arity was severely mentally disabled, and in 1939 he was accused of the murder of a 15-year-old girl. He was coerced into a false confession, convicted, and executed. Decades later, he was determined to be completely innocent, and in 2011, the governor of Colorado pardoned Joe Arity. I think if we can posthumously pardon innocent men, we should do it for innocent elephants too. So that is why I am asking President Donald Trump to officially pardon the elephants Topsy and Mary. Endear yourself to the American people, become an animal rights hero, and make your last act as President of the United States a great one, Mr. Trump. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button.